Hey, Mycroft. Weather. It's currently light intensity drizzle and 78 degrees. Today's forecast is for a high of 92 and a low of 72. So I got some things working here, and it's going to be hard to show, but let's try it. I've got some basic gestures working here. Let's try the back gesture, which is just three fingers to the left. <laughs> the, on the glass is too hard, so let's try it. There we go. And then forwards. Oh, help if I had it over the right place. There we go. So we got back. We got forwards. Forwards. Oh, back. I actually cl accidentally clicked. So yeah, it works as a great <clears throat> trackpad at the moment. It's hard to demonstrate though with one hand holding the phone or holding the camera, I should say. Um, one thing I haven't got working is like tap to drag, you know, like the double tap drag thing. But what I was gonna do is I was gonna do like uh, if you if you if you've got one finger down, you can press three down and it'll drag. Or something like that. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, I've got gestures. Basically, everything's working. I got left click, middle click, right click, um, back and forward. I've got all sorts of gestures. The next thing I'm going to do is make it so that like gestures like that or like an L work to call macros and whatnot. And then I have to make a... Um, <clears throat> a bunch of things, but but I basically need to make a GUI, and I also need to get a second one of these uh, and 3D print a case for it so that I can put it down here with one screen on the right and one on the left. Uh, and there's another thing I'm going to do, and I think I might put a physical button somewhere down here or something that you can just lean on, or I don't know, maybe I'll do it with a gesture. But there's a way with um, Minecraft to disable... The wake word. So basically, if you if I can, I can make it so like if I hold down four fingers with my left hand or something like that, uh, I can enable the wake word or disable the wake word. That way, it's always listening for my commands. So if you you're playing a game or something like that, you can say Raj, Roger, and it will just recognize that immediately and send the voice menu command for Roger or whatever you want. So it should be nice and quick. Uh, but yeah, everything I've all the basics are working fine. It's actually a fantastic macro pad. It can send. Um, keystrokes to if I want all that stuff is enabled it's just it's some Python script so it's not the fastest at the moment I'll probably rewrite the code in rust at some point um, but we shall see hold on a moment let's cancel that silly inception loop there we go. this is a much better one <laughs> this is my favorite loop lately uh, and I, that's another thing I got to do is I got to add some controls for like uh, what video plays and whatnot. And maybe, you know, just maybe I'll I'll experiment with some Rust game code so that it responds to your um, your movements with some GPU fun stuff, special effects and whatnot. But yeah, the uh, the touchscreen stuff is working, and I can have it do as what's kind of neat about the code is you know when you normally write code like this, you write it for just one device, but I wrote it with multiple devices in mind. So that if I'm holding down two fingers here or two fingers on a different touchpad, it can change the behavior of the other one. So I can press like, you know, th th four fingers here and that will change the, the single finger gestures over here and vice versa. Uh, another thing I want to get working is like um, secret taps. So you can be like, um, you know, four, three, two, one, and that does something or like four, one, and that changes your uh, OBS scene to scene one, four, two, scene three, and whatnot. Uh, but every time I add a gesture like that, it lowers the responsiveness a little bit. Oh, and one thing I didn't show is the, um, the scrolling feature today. So let me bring up some of my USB research code and demonstrate that I've got four finger scrolling working. Oh, the damn thing wants to move on the glass. But yeah, you can see that. Four finger scroll works well. 
and it's nice and it's, it's as sensitive as you want it to be. Uh, so you can see I can double click words. I can get nice and uh, I've got very fine control. It works very well. See, that's uh, the latest update on my uh, touchscreen wrist rest device. Getting close. And by the way, this uh, Adafruit voice bonnet is fantastic. I'm amazed at how quick, how much faster <clears throat> it responds with this thing on there. Uh, and I've got a Stemma slash Quick connector that I plan to use very soon. It's this thing on the end here. And it, you may not realize this, but I have one of those on my on my uh, Risky board as well. Uh, not that. That. See that? Some cool secret features coming. 